I just, I don't believe in limits. If you don't know how to do something, learn how to do it. You know, if you're having a hard time with something, figure out how to get around the problem. Whether you jump over it, you dig under it, or you just go around it, or you blast straight through, it doesn't matter. There's an obstacle, get beyond it. Don't let the obstacle define you. I am Gabriella Draney Zilke, and I am founder and CEO of Tech Wildcatters in Dallas, Texas. Tech Wildcatters is a seed accelerator, and basically what that means is we invest in very early stage startup companies. Our executive team is all female. It's a bit different in the technology industry if you follow it in the media that there's only something like 4% of women in venture capital and you know, less than 10% in technology in general. I, I imagine when people walk into a room and they see us versus what they expect, which typically would be, you know, white males. I don't know what they think. I know that we do our jobs very well. Hopefully they think more about that than the fact that, you know, we are these three badass women. I'm Molly Kane, I'm the Executive Director of Tech Wildcatters. I'm Clarissa Lindemeyer and I'm the VP of PR and Corporate Affairs. I tell people that this is the most powerful team I've ever worked with. And I, by that I mean we just get anything done. It's wonderful to work with Gabriella. I love to watch her brain work. Uh, she thinks of things that I think are insane. And I'm thinking no one would do that. And then of course she's just ahead of pack. I grew up in Rockwall, Texas. Uh, I worked outside of you know, obviously going to school. Um, two jobs at one point and yeah, just made things happen. By the time I was 17, I was fully on my own. And so the experience of that early independence really, I think, taught me to trust myself um, and do really what it takes to make whatever needs to happen happen. I got to go to the University of North Texas for college. I had a small scholarship and of course, Pale Grants, which were fantastic. I went to SMU for my MBA and I was on a full scholarship there. What I wanted to do was build an online game, a massive multiplayer online games. I figured even without experience in building games, well, I can find the team, I can put together the capital, and we can really make this thing work. So my son was 11 years old at the time. I had been a single mother for you know, five, six years already. My family, other people, they were pretty concerned that I was jumping off into the abyss with, uh, without a life raft. It was just really hard to go individually to different people to say, okay, where, where are all the gold mines? Where, where can we find these amazing people? Where can we find these amazing investors? And at every turn, they said, you have to move to the West Coast. And somebody made a comment that, look, Gabriella, why don't you think about pulling those resources together for the community and building something like these new accelerator models that are popping up in other parts of the country? That's really where it was born. So a tech accelerator isn't quite like old school incubators where typically you would pay for services, pay for space, kind of be there long term until you figure it out and move out. We put them through a 12 week, very mentorship driven program and uh, it culminates in a big pitch day. We invest in every single one of the companies and we're invested for the long term with them. When we started Tech Wildcatters, there were possibly 10 other groups like us in existence around the world. And today, there are closer to 5,000. We are investing real investor dollars and they expect a return. So we expect a return from the company. When somebody comes in and starts talking about their project, I say, you know what, we only invest in companies, we don't invest in projects. When an applicant is in the deep part of the program, they've moved here, they work in our office every day, it becomes their office. And the idea is to get them to the next level of their product development, their customer development, and funding. And that's basically taking one to two years of work and condensing it down into 12 weeks. It's a lot of work. I mentor companies pretty much every day, all day. And then every Wednesday, we do pitch practice. And that's where they get up in front of the mentors and they do their full pitch. And people are, you know, they'll, they'll come back with, that didn't quite resonate with me, or that doesn't really make sense or you're really missing this key ingredient. If you can't make it in pitch practice, there's no way you're gonna make it in a venture capitalist office because they are, they can be 
brutal. When people look at Dallas now for technology, hopefully they see that we do have all of these thriving startups that are turning into companies, some of them valuations in the hundreds of millions and moving into the billions of dollars. Dallas is known for being a real estate and oil and gas town, and I love seeing historically oil and gas investors getting involved in what we're doing. We don't want to recreate the ecosystem of other cities. We want to do it the Dallas way. I'd almost say we're kind of leading the charge to identify Dallas as a hub for innovation in Texas. We're pretty passionate about connecting all of Texas and bringing awareness to what we're doing here. People were telling me in 2009 that I'd have to go to California to do what I wanted to. They assumed that the talent wasn't here. We really do have the developers here. People just didn't know. And so hopefully we've brought some of that to life. Since the very first group of companies that we invested in in 2010, we have invested over three and a half million dollars to invest in 105 companies. So uh, they've cumulatively raised over a hundred million dollars uh, their valuations, if you add them all up, were over 500 million and quickly hitting into that billion number. The growth in Dallas, I think it's surpassed even my expectations, and I have really high expectations. So it's exciting to see, it's exciting to be a part of.